one more thing I'd like to say is that you don't have to unscrew the screws before you release the clips, these clips here, you know, like there's one, there's two, three, and four. You release them by using a, a flat screwdriver and just push on them. Uh, they clip on inside. Uh, I'll just show you one of them. It's kind of a hard to see how it looks inside, but uh, you can see there we go the clips and so it just clips to those. Here's my shaver uh, it's an S3 one and you push this once and then it uh, uh, starts charging and washing my shaver but I'm gonna now take it up uh, take it off and then here's the adapter that uh, uh, here's the uh, from 110, 120 whatever uh, into whatever this voltage is. Uh, I don't actually even know what how many volts it is but it's much less than 120. So I'm going to now put this cover back on and since I just have one hand I won't be able to do it live but uh, uh, it shouldn't be very difficult uh, to snap back in. Maybe I can just snap it. Remember I have to make sure that these buttons this one and that button here. Oh hey look at that it just snapped it just snapped in a place. Oh it works good okay so now I guess I, I lied. Uh, okay, so here is the cover that uh, they all comes with. Uh, you take the cover off and then we're gonna slide it in. Uh, better not spill too much of it here on my nice bench. Oh golly golly, working this. I just, uh, I'm gonna have to just put it down. There we go. Okay, so now it's inserted. I'm gonna snap it back in, uh, and uh, this looks correct. Uh, power input, and then the push button is working. And then uh, once it has power, which I'm gonna do in a second, uh, it's gonna have uh, it's gonna have that little light there. So let me go ahead and plug that in. There we go, plug in the power cord. Now we're going to plug in this thing right here. There we go. And now you can see that the light is working. So if the light is not working when you have this plugged in, uh, then that means that uh, that board unsnapped or got damaged. Okay, now let's see if it's going to wash it like it did upstairs. But I didn't have the liquid. There we go. You can hear it. You can hear it. I am very happy that I'm able to do this. That is fantastic because I have a bunch of these uh, three packs and they are not cheap. Uh, one thing Brown should do is make these reusable because I hate to dump plastic. Uh, and so um, I'm going to actually try to find out how I can put my own refills in because that's a lot of waste. Uh, and Brown should be able to make it so it's... Uh, uh, so you can actually just dump the liquid, which is dirty, wash it, and then put in clean liquid, uh, and um, and that way it will uh, uh, be safer for the environment as well as uh, as well as um, uh, be cheaper because you know when you buy the liquid in a big bottle, you don't have to make all these unnecessary plastic pieces. So that's uh, uh, done. It's working. It's charging and it's washing. The yellow means that it's uh, washing. And then when it's blinking green uh, it, uh, or blue, I'm sorry, I think, uh, then it's uh, charging. And then once it's solid uh, green, I think, uh, then uh, it's done charging. So I fixed it instead of spending like 70 bucks on a replacement. I hope you guys can fix it uh, just like I did. Have a good day.